So we signed up recently for Simple. Uh, Simple itself is not really a bank. What it is, is basically a division of another bank. What they do is Simple itself is an online service that's a partner of uh, BBVA Compass Bank. And it's an account that is basically a checking account um, but you don't get physical checks. You can have physical checks mailed out if you'd like to wherever you want, but there's really no need for having them with a simple account because a simple account is different than your regular checking account. It has many of the same features, but overall, um, the real difference is the fees. With simple, you never pay any fees. There are no monthly fees. There are no overdraft fees. So you can open an account, put a dollar in, and basically not use it ever again. And there's really there, there, there's no need to constantly use the account the way you would with a with your regular bank who would close the account if there's no activity. What I like most about Simple is really that um, transactions are processed much quicker than a regular bank. So I have Bank of America and Bank of America and ACH transfer or something like that could take two or three days. But with Compass, I've never seen it take more than till the next morning. Everything is processed very quickly. So Compass is really um, the bank that's that that's holding your funds that your funds are insured with. But you don't ever need to access the bank. If you want to deposit a check, you can do so either by sending it by mail. If the check is over 3000 you have to send it by mail. Or you could just take a photo of it and it gets uploaded and processed and deposited into your account. Well, one of the main reasons I'm using Simple is because uh, we recently moved. And uh, the, there's no Bank of America really that close to me. But with Simple, I can use ATM machines uh, all over. There's one a block away and there's one a few, another few blocks away. Uh, but they're all over the country. Uh, the, the, the fees are non-existent. If you want to take out 40 bucks, you pay only you only get forty dollars withdrawn from your account, regardless of whether or not the ATM you're pulling the money from actually charges a fee. They have an agreement with Simple. So you don't actually pay those fees. As long as it's an in-network uh, ATM. And you'll find that there are generally more in-network ATMs with Simple than you have your actual bank um, you know, in your area. You might have one branch or two branches in your area, but you might have a dozen Simple really uh, ATMs that you can use. The, there's, there's one downside to Simple. The one downside is that you can't deposit cash. Um, but I haven't found that to be a problem because it's a rare, very rare that I deposit cash. I mean, if I have cash, why would I deposit in the bank? I'll just keep the cash in my pocket. That's, you know, my line of thinking. But just in case I did want to deposit cash, there's a few different ways to do it. Um, I can write a check from another account and deposit it in. I can do an ACH transfer. Um, I can also just buy a money order for fit, which cost me 50 cents and then use that to deposit the cash into the account. If you're depositing cash frequently, it's not really the best choice. But if you don't deposit cash frequently, which is something I think that a large percentage of people, you know, don't do on a regular basis, uh, it, it, usually you're getting paid by your employer by direct deposit or, or so, someone's giving you a check to when you're contracting with someone, they almost always give you a check. So... There's a lot of benefits to this type of, you know, system rather than using a traditional bank. Uh, you know, I've used Bank of America for a very long time and we've used uh, TD Bank also. And one of the issues is that you can't find these banks where you need them, wherever you go. The, you know, you're, you, when you're opening an account with a regular bank, your checking account, what you're doing is basically you know, finding the bank that's closest to your home, but that's not necessarily going to be the best option for you always in the future. But I, I think there's a way to avoid that with services like Simple. It's not the only service. Capital One, I think, has an account very similar called 360. 
which is pretty much the same but i think capital one may actually charge a small monthly fee but i found that using an account like this is good for you know a number of reasons it's good because they have a lot of different options that are technologically you know advanced over what you get in the regular bank i can go in and categorize every single transaction and get charts and statistics on it um I, you could set up also savings goals where uh, money is deducted from your uh, ready to spend balance which is similar to your available balance in a bank and you could put 20 cents a day if you want you could put uh, 50 dollars a day you can adjust what you want towards the savings goals that you have and the savings are not held in a separate account they're held in the same account so there's no need if you want to withdraw money from that you can go ahead and actually just spend it and you know if you don't have enough available balance a safe to spend balance it goes out right from there so in the beginning, I really thought that Simple would just be a supplement for my regular, you know, bank that I could use kind of for online transactions and things that I don't necessarily want to use my checking account for. But more and more, it's become a replacement for my traditional checking account. Um, I like the fact that you can mail checks to people through it. That's really great. Um, you go online, there's no fee. You just put how much you want. They deduct the money from your account and mail the check and... Whoever gets the check doesn't have to worry because the check is really more certified than it is a check. You know, it, there's no chance that a check would bounce. So once you send that check out, it's it's automatically deducted from your balance right away. You don't have any issues. Simple is just a great service. I mean, the app is really good. You get notifications on every transaction on the app. Um, it's very easy for me to transfer money between me and my wife. Uh, she has a simple account also and all I need to do is it's as simple as pressing a button send to my wife and that's it she has to first verify you as a friend the first time that you send money to them but after that it's very easy to transfer money to other people with no fees and no wait time right now if I wanted to transfer money between my Bank of America account and my wife's TD account I have to wait you know for the ACH transfer to go through and ACH transfers also cost money so it's not the best thing. Um, you know, the fact that there are no fees associated with anything is fantastic. Um, there are some restrictions, like you can't do wire transfers out. But how many of us are really doing wire transfers? You can do a check and the check will arrive and clear, you know, in the same amount of time that it takes a regular check. A wire transfer usually happens the same day. But So if you're doing a wire transfer, it's not the best idea. But for any other like personal type of use simple is really fantastic uh i really recommend it over any a, a one of these other services um there's one thing there's no interest on it but depending on your balance that's not necessarily a, such a bad thing because if you have a five dollar a month you know fee on your account in order to make that five dollars a month in interest you would need to have a certain amount in your account so I don't keep that much money in my checking account anyway. I, I see it as rather pointless. So I think overall, like you should really try it. Even if you don't like it, there's no risks with opening a simple account. It's not like a traditional bank account where you need to go through check systems, get approved, and the account goes on your record. Like you can open this up literally in a minute and deposit money with it in a minute. You never have to... Uh, you never have to use it in order for your balance to stay the same. And you can close the account whenever you want. Um, it's great, I think, if you want to open an account for your kid. They don't offer joint accounts and they don't offer business accounts and things of that nature. So it's really just a personal account that in the beginning, you know, you might want to use it to supplement your checking account. But at the end of the day... It, it can really be a replace a full replacement for a checking account. You get your routing number and your account number just like anything else. And I haven't had trouble with any service out there, you know, accepting uh, simple as the bank simply because uh, you can use ACH to receive money very simply the same way you would with any other bank. I want you to go and try it. I'm going to post a link to my referral down here. And uh, if you use my referral code to open the account, you get a free wallet. And it's uh, 
a, like one of these little uh, minimalist wallets that you get that you just put cash on one side and your simple card on the other. So check it out, you know. There are other options if you're looking for something similar. Like I said, Capital One's 360 account is similar, but I think they may charge a monthly fee. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I didn't find a reason to use Capital One simply because the closest Capital One bank to me is very far. And like I said, I wanted the convenience with this. Um, Simple says that they're working on getting cash deposits. So they might partner up with a bank like Chase or something like that to allow you to make cash deposits. But for now, the type of ATM you'll generally find associated with Simple is kind of like your 7-Eleven ATM, your Walgreens ATM, McDonald's, the, those type of things. So they're all over. It's so much more convenient. Um, one of the issues I had was with Bank of America was that if I went to pull a $20 bill out of another bank or another ATM machine, I would pay that ATM fee plus the fee that Bank of America charges. So uh, I could pay, you know, up to five bucks in fees just to pull out $20 if I'm not near a Bank of America, which when you think about it is ridiculous. That's 25% of your money that you're losing just on an ATM transaction. So it's a if you use the ATM machine a lot, it's fantastic. It really is. And I do use the ATM machine a lot. And I've become like more and more reliant on Simple simply for the fact that money comes in a lot faster. Whenever someone transfers money to me, it never takes more than, you know, the next morning for me to get the money, the next business day. It never takes a, a full, uh, you know, two, two to three business days like your regular bank does. So click the link below, learn more about it, get a free wallet, sign up, and I hope you find my review uh, useful.